Hey there, it's Shannon Mathchick Myers, and today we will be checking out the very basics of notability, including how to start a new note, how to import a note, and how to export a note to notability. The first thing that you would do is select notability from your whatever screen it's on. I think mine's a little bit further, and it's the one that has this pencil on it. So I'm selecting that. And then here's my recent notes and my files. Now you, if you just bought this program, you it looks a lot different. It'll have kind of a welcome thing, etc. So anyway, this is what will show up once you have a few notes going on. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can start notes. The easiest way is just to select the upper right button that shows the pencil and paper, click on that, and it'll just be a default note. Rename your note just by selecting it and then renaming it. On the iPad, you always have to remember with Mac, it's usually so easy it's hard, <laughs> at least for us PC people or ex-PC people. <laughs> All right, so now I'll just name this Notability Demo, Enter, and it's ready to go. There are different settings. There's a little wrench and the top right middle button has this wrench here and there's different utilities. So if you select paper, you can see that you can get lined paper, you can get graph paper, you can have cute little purple paper, and it'll overlay on your grid if you like that. So you could have kind of a prettier, a prettier color if you want. <laughs> now, you just start writing. Another way that you can Open a new note is by importing. So what I'm going to do right here is, do you see the symbol right here with the arrow down and the paper, I guess it's meant to be? If you click on that, it's the import menu and you can import from Dropbox, Google Drive, uh, OneDrive, Box, um, Web DIV, a lot of people at my school use Google Drive. In order to import from one of these drives, you're going to need to authorize Notability to access whichever drive that you want. Another way to bring in a document to Notability is by files. I actually use this a lot because I use the iCloud. You'd have something like, Lights, camera, action, handout. <laughs> so here, this is a handout that I have for my um, presentation coming up. And once you click on it, the share feature comes on right here in the upper right. And so if you click on that, you can see that you can send it to Notability. And then once you go into Notability, it comes up and you can say, create new note, import, and then open, and you're all ready to annotate. Cool, cool? And I don't know, just a few things. I mean, this is really awesome. You can, you can highlight, there's all sorts of different colors. Um, you could highlight description, you can write on it. Um, and you can really, you know, do whatever you need to do. One feature that Notability has come up with is if you draw a shape and you hold, it makes it like a perfect circle. That was a circle. You can even do a triangle. You could do a box. That's a really cool feature that it didn't have before except in a different menu, which was the only thing in my opinion that 
that it lacked from GoodNotes. GoodNotes had that feature already, but now Notability is up the game because you don't have to go to a special tool for it. So I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you're watching this show. And if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe. Bye.